Well, if you have a cell phone, chances are good that you've gotten a text message offering you free gift cards for different stores. News 10's Joe Ostrowski spoke with authorities about the potential dangers behind those texts. Spend much time at Cutter's Hair Salon and you'll hear plenty of talk and I'm just about, myself. Myself. about plenty of things. But, you've got to get me something else. but lately, talk has turned to texts. Texts like these with offers that sound too good to be true. It came across saying that I was a lucky Indiana winner of a thousand dollar Walmart card. One of my clients actually had six to seven of them in one night. Those texts are more and more common and they're drawing more and more concern. The Indiana Attorney General's office says it's gotten more than 70 complaints about texts offering free Walmart gift cards, along with plenty more from other retailers. Walmart says they don't send these texts, and the Attorney General's office says responding to them could bring various risks. At minimum, they could be signing themselves up for even more unwanted solicitations. Uh, at worst, um, they could be putting themselves at risk for identity theft or even credit card fraud. The AG's office believes they know how these scammers operate. They believe that the scammer uses a computer to come up with hundreds of different phone numbers, some that belong to real phones and some that don't. They then send these texts out to all of those numbers. In turn, if you send information back, a text, even if it asks to be removed from the listing, you're sending back confirmation that you have, indeed, a working phone. The best thing to do is ignore it and delete it. Don't click on the links. Uh, don't respond to remove your information uh, from their list. Uh, you could just be setting yourself up to receive even more unwanted uh, solicitations. And authorities say doing that can help you stay out of a hairy situation. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Cody Murphy, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. Authorities say if you do get these text messages, they recommend contacting your wireless provider.